My name is Mariska Kret. I work as a professor at the Cognitive Psychology Unit of Leiden University. <laughs> We did different public outreach activities. First, we tested people in the zoo on the same tasks that apes were doing. We went out in the psychology lab on wheels, went on the road to different places, gave public lectures, wrote popular articles and books. I'm Jonathan Tennyson, Massey Professor of Physics at University College London. So my ERC-funded project is helping to understand what planets that go around other stars are made of. We don't do the actual observations of the planets, we collaborate with people who are doing it. What we do is provide all the data they need to interpret their results. I'm Alpa Shah, I'm a Professor of Anthropology at the London School of Economics and Political Science. Okay. Our research followed the lives of Adivasis, that's indigenous people, stigmatised as savage, and Dalits, the previously untouchable people. Capitalist accumulation in India doesn't at all trickle down to everybody, and that caste and tribe oppression are reincorporated, re entrenched in the new economies. Involving the general public, who are not deeply into the scientific content, can actually generate really interesting research questions. Another reason for involving the general public is because I wanted to increase the respect of, uh, of people for animals, uh, great apes especially. I noticed it works really well if you can do that in zoo instead of the university because the apes are there performing the same tasks and this creates a bond immediately. The project is attracting school children who don't normally aspire to go to university to study science and getting them involved in leading research projects to try and raise their aspirations. And with particularly emphasis is on underrepresented groups, both gender, racial and socioeconomic. And we pair tutors with schools and the tutors engage with the kids once a fortnight and they set them tasks which the children then do between the visits. And they normally start quite often with some event, maybe a visit to UCL at the start, and then we have an award ceremony at the end where each of the schools present their work. I sought to raise public awareness, challenge misunderstandings, and widen scope for care about the caste oppression, the tribe oppression, the violence across India through a visual exhibition through a book written for a wide general audience and through a policy brief that was trying to address racial discrimination. Don't assume that the public knows what you know. I often experienced that myself, that I was yeah, assuming that they had this, a lot of knowledge, but actually uh, I have gathered uh, a lot of knowledge over the years. Use the talent in your group. You've got a great research group. Use them to help you spread the word. Being open to completely unlearn uh, everything that you know and to learning new skills and opening yourself up, challenging the experience that you've had. You shouldn't think that the general public is not interested in your research. In my experience, the general public is very interested, as long as you tailor your message to the specific audience. By designing your problems well, you can get some great science out of the school children. Collaborating with non-academic experts, trying to find the people who are relevant to your work, trying to learn from them. A third tip is to not go too much outside of your own comfort zone. If you really don't feel comfortable uh, talking to the general public, maybe you can write a blog or a book or involve the general public in another way. So it just opens possibilities, you get much better level of engagement. Taking carefully thought out high risks, it's easy to confine yourself to the privileged academic environment, write in highly academic texts which only get read by other academics. But I chose the opposite strategy, which is to reach out as far and wide as we could go with the research, to challenge received wisdoms, to draw attention to the injustices which are being silenced uh, within, within the country. And also it's a lot of fun talking about research in different ways. It forces you to look at the bigger picture 
and it gave me also insight into where I wanted to go in the future. <laughs>